What's up guys, this is True Food Eats. I'm Chef Curtis. Hey, today we hanging out and we at MFK Filipino Martin Kitchen. We gonna check this place out. We heard about it. People was telling me about it, hit me up on my DM and telling me, hey man, check this spot out. So we actually over here, we're gonna find out what they talking about. We're gonna find out if it's really good. So follow along, let's have some fun with it. So, All right. What's up guys? Hey, I got my food. Hey, a MFK restaurant I just went to. It's Filipino Martin Kitchen. And it's a little bit different with a twist. So, you know, so bear with me. We're gonna show you some of the things they got going on and we're gonna, you know, try it out. So, of course, you know, the coconut. <laughs> it's your wife. It's my wife, coconut. But we're gonna work with it too. Let me. Um, it's very delicious and cold. Ooh. It's nice cold, ice cold, it's good, it's good. So, we're gonna put this part of it too, you know, cause, I, you know, she wanted this. You do this. drink it in the Philippines. Yeah, y'all yeah, drink this in the Philippines, she wanted this. So, I just got that, you know, added on there. Okay, all right, all right, I got me some garlic rice, guys. Garlic rice, and they do it a little bit on the different side, and they, 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 it was bragging to me. Man, it was bragging, guys. They was still talking bad. Oh yeah, our food is this, our food is that. It is made differently than normal Filipino food. And I'm like, what's the difference? They was like, it's better, it's good. We make it with a twist. And I said, okay, we got a twist, I got you. Okay, so I got some garlic rice. And it's a little bit, you know, I'm looking at it, you know, that's some regular garlic rice. Now, now granted, I made garlic rice before and I had a lot of you guys rice. I had a lot of it, a lot of it. So we're gonna try this rice out. And it's just rice right now, let's see. Look at that right there, let's see, see how it tastes. Mmm. That's good. What's the twist? I ain't found no twist. <laughs> I ain't, I don't, don't be honest with y'all. I ain't found no twist to it, but that's okay. It's only rice. Now, this right here. Is the chicken any salt. Chicken any salt. Now, I know you guys looking at this and said, this is a damn salad, but they That's chop it up. And I was thinking, you know. Can we get it as a whole? I was, I was thinking like, man, you know, I thought it was gonna come as a whole chicken. Or you know what I mean? A half a chicken chopped up and you know, like that. But they gave me this and I was like, you know, I'm kind of shocked a little bit by it. But, you know, this is uh, Martin, you know, Filipino, Filipino kitchen. Yeah. So we, we gonna try it. And it, it, it the looks, it's, it could be deceiving, but I don't know. Let's try this out. You know, I'm gonna I'm a try it out without any rice. And I got one piece of chicken, guys. You know, they chopped it up. You know, I got one piece of chicken, let's see. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, mmm, ooh, I love this flavor, mmm, I love that flavor to it, and I got it, you know, it's got, it's got grilled, you know, and they grilled it, and it got the seasoning on it. it, I love the seasoning, I don't know what they put on here, but it is really, really good. I, I can give them that much. That's good. I would love if they gave me a whole piece because it'd have been more juicier. You know what I mean? Because I think you take a little bit out when you use, I think they use like a chicken breast. Yeah, I think that dries it out. I think it should use like a a thigh or something like that. You know, work with it. You know what I mean? And it would have came out really, really good. Let me see how it works with this rice. I'm going to see can it work with the rice. See, I got it right there. See how it works with the rice. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, mm. This is, it, is really damn good. Is it popping? It's popping like it, baby. But it is really good. Man, I thought they, I thought they had. Mmm. Let me have one. You know, some. Hold on. Mmm. Ah, I thought they blackened it, but they didn't. But I really gotta. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really gotta get the flavor. I really gotta look it up. I'm gonna look it up and figure it out talk to some of my filipino friends and see what you know how to make it because i do love this flavor you know and i don't think you know it's 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 really good 
Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's really, really, really good. I mean, I mean, I know it don't look like much, and I know y'all gonna be talking about it. I know y'all gonna light light them up on this one, the way it look. I know y'all gonna tear them up, cause I'm tearing them up in my mind. I'm like, you know, the flavor is good. They did a good job, but I think that should have been the whole chicken, you know, have ch chopped up chicken. So I think it should have been a chopped up chicken. But the mm -hmm. restaurant mm -hmm. is known mm -hmm. as a rice bowl restaurant. Mm. But, but then you, yeah. mm. The thing is, I think that for a modern kitchen, you're going to find things like this. It ain't going to be a typical Filipino restaurant. Like you know, like the pop. way, like a mom and pop joint that we, we love to go to and we get great food from. And don't take, I'm not, saying, I'm not taking nothing away from them. This is what works for them. I think people love this way. And it was, it was a nice crowd in there. And too bad we couldn't really film in there because the music was kind of loud. It was, well, I ain't going to say loud, it was real loud. And we really couldn't do too much we wanted to do. We really wanted to film in there. That's why we in the car. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, you know. And we do make it work, guys. Y'all know we do. Mm. No one says it's different. With this, the green onions... And uh, field greens showcase a lot. It just it, that green onions just gave you that green onion flavor with that with with the the taste the flavor they got on the chicken. Mm. Maybe they got some calamansi on it. Mmm. They do have. Yeah, color. that's what it is. It's the calamansi. It's marinated in that the in the juice. Juice and soy. Yeah, the, yeah, calamansi juice and soy. I knew. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Girl, you on point. You are on point with this one. See, I'm glad I got her here. Cause she know too. She know what goes in them. And I, I missed it on that, but I can taste it. And that's the flavor that I'm getting from it. Mm. That is the flavor I'm getting from it. And then the green onions. The green onions, oh man, that's, I really like it. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I'll tell y'all if I didn't like it. Y'all know how I, how I roll. Y'all know, y'all know how I roll. I would tell you, woo baby. Ooh, I'll baby. tell you. Ooh, baby. Ooh -wee. If I ain't like it, baby. And I like it. Mmm. 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 That's good. I don't think I get a lot. But it's good. That got a good flavor. You sure mm. are chopping away? It's good. What am I supposed to say? Chopping away. This is a modern, modern Filipino joint. You know, what we in, Bellflower? Yes. Yeah, we in Bellflower, California, guys. You know, and the area is nice over here. <clears throat> oh, I'm a choke. I'm a choke. Oh, my God. Let me put this down for me. No, oh, ah, nah, 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 come on. Oh. Mm. And they're in a restaurant area called Steel Craft. So if you see steel crap. if you're on Bellflower mm. and you're traveling down it, the road, it's called Steel Crab. Because what happens is many restaurants in here's there. the problem. I thought we we missed the joint because they said steel crab. Like, dang it, it must not be here. It's not must be here. Then we was like, and then I looked it up. We parked and looked it up again. It was there. I was like, okay, the, the same address. So it got to be there. So we went in there and then found and seen all these other restaurants in there popping. So we was like, let's go in there and check it out. And uh, mm. Martin mm. Filipino mm. Kitchen has only been there for three months. Yeah, mm. three months. Three months. Yeah, been there for three months. Been there for three, three months. And they have a nice, uh, um, nice mm. menu. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. It ain't a lot on the menu. Look how like 11 items. I mean, a small menu. But I guess they said, well, with the, with the 11 items, we're going to make it work. And they're making it work. I really do enjoy it. This is lovely. Mmm. 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 Oh, okay. Let okay. me slow it down. Put that down for a minute. All right. And the rice. <laughs> it ain't no it's twist. It's garlic. No. You don't really taste the garlic. I'm be honest with you. You don't really taste the garlic. It's not really in here. It's just really, really subtle. It ain't like when I, y'all, the way you guys make the garlic, garlic rice. That you taste garlic. 
and that fried garlic on top y'all put on top oh my god is that oh man make it make me feel good inside i feel so love me ah man i'm telling you that's that's the real that's the real deal they got to practice on this one the chicken is good but the rice i need to practice but it's okay we ain't gonna talk about them everything is great we're gonna give them praise all that kind of stuff you know now now the big the big boy now nah, i got this bangers Look fish. But it's grilled. No, no. It's blackened. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. It's blackened. It's blackened. This is blackened, guys. Don't they look good? It looks really good. Now, this is blackened. Now, I don't know if you guys ever blackened fish before. So, we use Cajun seasoning. You know what I mean? What we do is, here's the catch. When you blacken fish, you don't put it on the grill. What you do is, you take it. And you get a cast iron skillet. All right, put a little oil in there, a little oil. You take that fish, you 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 put Cajun seasoning on. Cajun seasoning is a lot of spice, spicy. And then you make the let the let the grill, I mean a, a skillet, get piping hot and start smoking. All right, then you take that fish, then you put it in there. Boom, boom. A couple minutes, three minutes on one side, two minutes on one side. Boom, flip it over. Boom, boom. That's it. Another side. Flip it over. Take it out. It's going to cook fast because it's, it's, you, you got this kind of fish right here. So it's going to cook fast real quick. And then when you take it off, it's still cooking. Because you, you, get, you get the high temperature. But that's how you make blacking. You know what I mean? If you go blacking chicken, you keep it on the longer because it's chicken. You know what I mean? And then you flip it, flip it the same way. But the, the, it got to be smoking. Got to be a cast iron skillet or a pot. Whatever you use it, got to be smoking. Get your cadence. And if y'all want, I can, you know, email me, check me out, whatever you want to do. And I can tell you how to make the seasoning for Cajun seasoning. Because I make it from scratch. So we'll give you the recipe for it. If y'all want to do that, you can go to the store and buy it. But that's how it goes, okay? All right. So this fish, let's check this fish out. This fish right here. Blackened bangers. Black as bangers. Bangers, black as bangers. So, you know, I'm And what know. they do is they debone it and they... Uh, they blackened the whole solid fish. Yeah, it's fillet. It's fillet. Fillet fish. Yeah. They fillet it, you know. And this is uh, our friend's favorite, Wendell. He loves okay, he loved this one? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Let's check, let's check it out. Look at that. Watch out. Look at that. Let me see. All right, all right. Let's see. Let me see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. It's good, baby. Oh yeah, that Cajun on there. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that Cajun is not, you know, and this is, they did it right. Cause I, you know, the Cajun, I make Cajun, you know, you can take the salt out, you put just a little salt in, and this don't have a lot of salt. So it's a good Cajun right here. It's not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Mm. I should have some kind of sauce with it, but they want to, they want to give me soy sauce. I ain't want no soy sauce on here. I needed the vinegar. But they didn't have the vinegar there. They, don't, they didn't have the vinegar like we used to. Guys, y'all know what I'm talking about, the vinegar. Y'all be telling me to pop it on. It'd have been perfect on here. It'd have been really perfect on this. This would have set it off with the vinegar. But, you know, they didn't have it. Mmm. 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 That's the thing. Nobody would like that vinegar. But we like that vinegar, don't we? We all know about it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, I really like it. Mmm. Yeah. And the reason I say you get the vinegar on there, because this fish can be kind of dry if you overcook it, you know, a lot. It can be kind of dry. But if you put that vinegar on there, get some kind of, you know, another taste to it, another, something to, you know, the uh, dehydrated. Hydrate. I mean, I'm sorry, hydrate. <laughs> I said dehydrate. Dehydrate me, take it out. I mean, I want to put it in, but yeah, you put that in there, it'll be, it'll be really popping. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's good. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's got... Oh, yeah. I love, I love blacking, baby. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it.
Uh, but it's wish I, I should have bought some vinegar from home because we we got some we made if I make it at home, make it a little spicy and put it on there. Oh man, this would be good with it. Mmm. 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 I know y'all don't laugh at me. I was like, he's eating that damn rice. But you talked so much about it. But no, it just go with it. You know what I mean? It goes with the fish. You know what I mean? I'm on with you. Just all goes with the fish and everything. And that chicken is good. And everything. So guys, let me close this up and talk to y'all for a minute. Yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that we out here, we trying different things. And we're gonna try the Martin food. And we're gonna try, you know, the old, the uh, authentic, you know, Filipino food, mom and pop spots. Cause I love the mom and pop spots. That's my favorite is the mom and pop spots. Because you know why? They be hooking it up, hooking it up. I mean, making it the bomb. So I love to hit them spots. And we just gonna go all over and hit everywhere. So guys, you know, if you really like this blog, guys, please subscribe to this channel. You know, guys, take a minute. Take a minute, guys, and give me a thumbs up. You know, come on, guys. You know, and tell me if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, guys. You know, my wife said a thumbs up. You know, I'm, I'm throwing that in there. I know that's kind of corny for me to be doing a thumbs up. I look like, I look funny doing that. But, <laughs> but that's okay. She said, make sure you put that thumbs up on there. So I'll put it on there. So, guys, all right, guys. Uh, take care. Thank you for everything, guys. Um, um, like I said, please subscribe to the channel. You know, hit that bell. We'll let you know when we're going to post our next video. Also, uh, guys, like I always say, you know, stay true to your food, guys. Um, hey, you know about our merch? I ain't got to keep saying it, you know, but check it out. You know, hit the bottom. Good night, hit, you know, check it out. See if you got something for you and do that, all right? All right, guys. Um, stay true to your food, like I said again. And uh, stay safe out there, guys. And peace out.